Welcome to a video from the digitallifes.com, new Windows 11 build to look at. This is 22572 for Windows Insiders on the Dev Channel. It includes a number of fixes and a couple of inbox apps that Microsoft have added to the system. And so if you do a clean install, you get these apps. The first one they've added is uh, Microsoft Family, which uh, this is the, the app which I, I need to install because, if I was, because it's not a clean install. And that's a family safety, so where you can do the things like you can set how much um, time your kids can get on their Xbox. You can put filters on, content protection, that kind of thing. And that's an inbox app. Also that will be included is Clipchamp, which is a video video editing tool that Microsoft uh, as a recent acquisition, and that's built into uh, to Windows. So it's kind of like for making little clips and that kind of thing. And it's uh, yeah, it comes part of now as part of Windows. Um, I'm sure not everybody wants that, but uh, it's a handy little tool there. Um, I've had a quick play with it, and it's uh, yeah, it, it seems quite a fun little application. Uh, okay, what else has changed in this build? Well, in the um, let me close Clip Champ in the search box. We've not seen this yet, but we're going to soon, soon see a um, Microsoft are going to soon change this next one. In this search box, Microsoft are going to update this, and it's going to include relevant. It's going to include interesting highlights uh, of moments in time. So I think it's basically going to have like on this day in history and trending searches and that kind of thing. So they're going to redo that. So I'll probably be able to show you that next week. They put the code in, um, but I'll be able to show you what it looks like next week. And if you sign in with your um, with your work account, you'll see sort of your organisational details in there as well. Quick Assist has got a new icon, you can see it, see it there. And um, they've actually updated the printing dialog box. I'm ready to print at the moment. You've got a printer set up on here that shows you the print queue. Um, they've they changed the notifications in Focus Assist as well. And one thing that has changed is Windows Media Player. It's now called Windows Media Player. Legacy, although in mine it's still saying Windows Media Player, but that's what they're, they're renaming it to. Uh, there are some fixes in this build. One thing you can do now is you can right click on the start menu. If you've got a non tablet PC on the previous builds, that would crash. That's been fixed now. Uh, on tablet, it was, it was actually always okay, but that's that's been fixed. They fixed some issues with uh, recent builds and using Windows Mixed Reality. Um, they fix some issues with touch gestures like the three finger swiping and things like that that weren't always working. Uh, I can do that like that. Um, they weren't working on devices that didn't have tablets. Touch gestures are now restored on all devices. Um, some of the touch didn't work on non-tablet devices before, but they they fixed that as well. And they fixed the reliability of this uh, taskbar. Um, they fixed some reliability issues on this taskbar here that would, when you put it into tablet mode, the, 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 it would disappear and not uh, reappear. So I put it into tablet mode. Oh, I don't want to open that. So when you put it into tablet mode, the thing, the taskbar collapses and uh, it wasn't re going popping back. So when you put it into tablet mode, this. Um, was it collapsing correctly or it would sometimes pop up and then it wouldn't disappear again again. I've got a separate video on using Windows 11 with tablets uh, from all the previous improvements so actually you should check that out. So that's really the main changes with this build. There's still some the usual known issues. You can't update directly from Windows 10 uh, at the moment. You get an error code so uh, you'd have to join the beta channel and then switch to the dev channel to get the current build but they're going to be fixing that. The taskbar doesn't always collapse in tablet mode it's also the same before this when it collapses in tablet mode there's still an issue where it doesn't automatically collapse when you click outside of it so that's it for build 22572 not a huge amount to see but some interesting fixes on there and don't forget to check out my video of all the new tablet and feature improvements thanks for watching this video and i'll see you on the next one